Hey everybody! Today I'm going to do a what's in my purse video. I love watching these videos on YouTube so I thought it would be fun to do one for myself and there were a couple of you that requested that I do one after my vlog every day in June challenge was over so for both of you that asked, <laughs> here it is. So here's my purse. Looks like this. It's not anything fancy. It's from Cracker Barrel actually. Last summer my mom and I were in there and it was on clearance and I really liked it. I just noticed that it was really cute and she just said she wanted to get it for me which was so nice of her. And actually, <clears throat> excuse me, almost all of my purses are from her. She just loves to buy purses for people. So thanks mom. Love this purse. This is my favorite style of purse. I love this like tote style. We actually, my mom and I call these pit purses because if you don't organize them and use, this is something I'm going to show you, things just get all jumbled up in there and it's a big mess. So I'm going to show you how I organize my purse as well as what's inside of it. So I'll show you the inside. It's just a real basic purse. There's one um, zip pocket on this side and then on the other side there's two slip pockets. One's a little bit bigger than the other and normally in the bigger slip pocket um, are my keys, my car keys, but they're over there by the front door because when I come in the house from being out of the house, I put my keys right by the door in our little um, drop station. So if you want to know what that looks like, I will include a link to that blog post down below. So in that pocket where my other keys are, I have these keys. These are my keys for work. Um, and in case my husband and I trade cars every once in a while, I like to make sure that my work keys are on a separate keychain so I don't get to work and get stranded. Okay, so then in the other, in the zippered pocket on the other side, I have a few things. I have this pouch that has um, all of our Chick fil A cow calendar cards. Um, my husband bought eight of these. And <laughs> at Christmas time and we use them for our date night so once a week we go to Chick-fil-A and get whatever the freebie thing is like this week it's or this month it's um the chicken strips so we'll get that and then we'll just get like a large fry and split it and when, maybe one of us if we want a coke we'll get a coke or something and it's a really nice way to get out of the house have an easy meal and have time together for very very minimal cost so there's a tip for you then I have some of my come home for comfort business cards find me at home for comfort Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, and now on YouTube. Okay, and the other three things in the little zip pocket, uh, I have this, which is my favorite hand cream. This is the Body Shop Shea Hand Cream. I love this. It doesn't leave residue on your hands. It's very, very moisturizing, and it lasts a long time. I have one of these on my nightstand as well, but it's the um, lemon something. I like that one too. Um, and then I have a Bath and Body Works Pure Paradise antibacterial hand gel, and I have a turquoise pen. Okay, here's my wallet. This wallet was made by a company called Lola Blue, and I gave one of these away on my blog um, back in the fall. And it's not my favorite wallet ever. It doesn't have a zipper pocket for change, which is kind of annoying. So I'm not going to show you, but in this up here, I have my debit card and some other stuff. Um, and then I have this little... Um, card holder that I got on Etsy from an Etsy shop called A Time for Everything and it's like vinyl kind of material. I really like it and I use it um, when I carry a smaller purse or if I don't if I don't use this wallet I have just a little zippered pouch that I use to carry my money or cards in and I put that inside of it to hold like my Costco card, my driver's license and all that kind of stuff so that when I open the zippered pouch the only card that's loose is my debit card. That's the one I reach for the most. And I have this um, pouch, which is also for my mom, and it has um, this thing with Advil in it, and some migraine pills, and some other feminine items that you don't need to see. Then I have this pouch, and I also wanted to mention that because I use all these different, there's another one, all these different pouches in my purse, I like for them to all to be a different material so that if I'm driving or I'm not looking and I'm just or like in church and I'm just reaching in to my purse to grab something, I know which one I want by what it feels like. I don't have to actually be looking in my purse to get what I want. So um, this one is my cosmetic bag. Ooh. This is a clean Kleenex in a pouch for like actual runny noses or to wipe if I feel the need to cry or something. This one is a dirty one, but not like a snot dirty one. It says when I use 
if I get like too much lipstick. I cannot put lipstick on without making a mess, so I use this to kind of like clean up my disaster. Have a little compact um, mirror, chapstick. Um, I have a little e.l.f. Um, powder compact that I keep just because I get shiny in the summertime during the day. I have this lipstick from Revlon. This is Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick in Gladiola is what I'm wearing today. So you can see that's what that one is. I got that in the Target Beauty Box for summer. This lipstick I really like. This is um, Alme. And this is the Smart Shade Butter Kiss in Berry Light for fair skin. That's what it looks like. And this is a nice one. It stays on for a long time and it's very affordable. Then I have the L'Oreal. And yes, I need to have all these lipsticks in my purse because you never know which one you want during the day. Sometimes I put one on before I go to work and then by lunchtime I decide that I don't really like how it looks with my outfit or my makeup or something so I want to change. So I like to have them all with me. Um, this one's L'Oreal Color Riche in Cherry Tool. This one's nice too. It, um, it's actually much more berry looking than it looks in the tube, but it's a nice one. Um, I have a lip gloss. This is the Revlon. This is actually old. I need to replace this. Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Super Natural. And I wear this lip gloss over my favorite lipstick. And this is the one I get the most compliments on. Instagram pictures, YouTube videos, people that are seeing me in real life compliment me on this lipstick more than anything else. Um, Super Lustrous Lipstick from Revlon. And it's cream, not matte. I, don't not, I do not like the matte shades. Cherries in the Snow. I didn't mean for this to be like a beauty haul kind of video, but it's this. And when I wear this with that um, lip gloss, it looks really nice together and stays on all day. Then, this is an essential thing to have in my purse. I used to keep it in my car, but like I said, my husband and I kind of trade cars sometimes, and I can't seem to be without it, so I so I've started putting it in my little makeup bag in my purse, a pair of tweezers. Because how many times... Do you get ready to get out of the car and you pull the mirror down just to make sure you everything's in place and you have like a second eyebrow or like some random thing or heaven forbid like something, a hair on your chin and you can't get it with just your bare fingers. So I got the, these, um, I thought they were super cute. They're like gold and turquoise at um, Burke's Outlet, which is like Ross. Gotta have those. Then I have a teasing comb, essential, a band-aid and an emery board, also pretty essential. That's what's in that one. Okay, that was kind of long. I'll hurry. Then I have this little um, velour kind of bag, also from my mom. She gave me a nice set of these at Christmas time. And I just keep my earbuds in there so they don't get tangled up in my purse. Um, then I have, this is my favorite gum. I love this gum. Eclipse Polar Ice. I don't mind the other Eclipses as well, but Polar Ice is my favorite. Um, although it is hard to get the gum out of these foil packets when you're trying to be quiet, like at church kind of a pain but it's good there's my glasses <clears throat> and that's it everything's out Ta -da. so that's what I keep in my purse and I I realize it's a lot of stuff but I like having all those things with me all the time and oh and I also have my phone in my purse but I'm filming on my phone so it's not in here um, I like having everything with me all the time and I don't mind carrying it around. It's, I don't ever, I don't mind. I'd rather have all that stuff in case I need it, you know, eight kinds of lipstick in case I need something. So, um, it's nice to have those with me all the time. And this kind of purse accommodates whatever I want to shove in there. And then when I also, I usually have a snack in my purse, but I ate it today when I was out grocery shopping. So I don't have anything in there right now. I need to replace that actually. I usually have a granola bar in there. Um, and then if I want to like stick a water bottle in there or my umbrella, I've been, had been carrying my umbrella the last couple weeks because we had a whole week or two of where it would just rain like randomly throughout the day. And I hate to get stuck in a, um, store or at work and have to go out in the rain and not have my umbrella. So I was carrying it in my purse, which that makes it really heavy, but it's worth it to me to keep from getting drenched. So those are things I carry in my purse and how I organize it. And I really, really love this, um, multi pouch system it works really well for me so um and even too the another bonus of that is if you wanted to i don't change purses very often but if you are a person who likes to do that having stuff in pouches helps you be able to switch purses and not forget anything in your old purse and even if you know like this one isn't always essential because you're not always needing all your feminine stuff you could just 
know that you pull out your Advil out of this one and you don't have to carry this if you're just using like an evening clutch or something. Um, so you wouldn't have to always take everything if you were changing purses. So there's a little peek into what I carry in my purse. I'd love to hear how you organize your purse or what your favorite kind of purse is. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, and if you want to chat or hang out or get to know me, you can follow, find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest at home for comfort. Visit my blog, comehomeforcomfort.com, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!